Good afternoon guys Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I want to share My friends experiences And I think Those are belong to Anecdote and Spoof uh, Firstly I want to uh, Deliver three Anecdote to you One day Two of my friends made an appointment to meet at Babakan, Cirebon. And not take long time after that, they finally arrived at Babakan, Cirebon. And then they call each other. Yeah. Hey Amran, I already arrived at Babakan, Cirebon. And then Amran said, Happy, I already have been here too. Where are you? Yeah. And then P said, I am in front of Babakan Market. And then Amran said, Oh, I am also in Babakan Market. Where are you exactly? Yeah. Uh, and then P said, Yeah, because her name is Baby. Yeah. Oh, I'm near with the Babakan Market signpost. Below it. And then Amran said, Oh yes, uh, I was there. And then Baby said, You can't see it. What clothes you are wearing? And then Amran. Maroon. There is not maroon. It's too crowded. Yeah. How if we come back at what when returning to the market entrance from the north in the junctions? Yeah. And then Amran. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Then two people go to the direction they promise to meet. Once there, they call again. They call each other again. At that time, there was no cell phone within uh, or providing share locations or share lock. Yeah. Yeah, I arrived at the, the T junctions. Where is it? Yeah. And then Amran said, Where is it? I have been arrived too. Yeah. And then, Oh yeah, under the flyover. I was there. Yeah. And then Amran said, Oh yes, I, I was there. I arrived near the flyover. Yeah. I was near Alpha Mart. Where are you, B? Yeah. And then B said, There is no Alpha Mart here. Hey. Yeah. Hadu, where are you? What's the Papa Khan? You've been there. Yeah. I am now in Baba Khan Siwaringin. Oh my god. I am now in Babakan Gebang. Yeah. I am in Babakan Gebang and you are now in Babakan Siwaringin. There are two Babakan in Cirebon. Yeah. And then Amran said, Why you didn't tell me about it before? I am now alone and I don't know how to go to Babakan Gebang. So, the problem why this anecdote happened is because there are two Papakan in Cirebon regions. Yeah, Papakan Siwaringin and Papakan Kepang. Okay, we go on to the second anecdote. A group of friendships 
try to conduct a tour to Borobudur. Most of them come from Semarang and its surrounding. There is one person from the Gal area. This the Gal man asks his friends from Semarang and its surrounding, "What will we wear later?" They answer, "Wearing a uniform shirt." And the other is a black katok. Yeah. On the appointed day, they gathered, and it turned out that there was one person, yeah, from the gal who was wearing short ones. Why are you wearing shorts? Yeah. All Semarang men asked him. He said, "You asked me to wear katok." Is that right? Why are you wearing shorts? Yeah. Shall we say shorts? Katok means trouser here. And then the gunman said, "Oh really? Oh my God! In my area, in my regions, katok means shorts. The shorts one." Yeah. It turns out that the difference in defining the word katok, which means trousers, in Semarang area, and in Tegal, katok means shorts. Okay, we go on to the third example of anecdote. Yeah, one day in Kuningan area, there was. A seller of Dawat Ayu. This one is a kind of ice from Central Java. After serving several people, there were people who said the Dawat is amis and. The seller asked them, "Really? It's Amis?" Then all of the buyer said, "Yes, that's true. It's Amis." Then after that, the seller threw away all of the dawat remaining in the tank. Then after that, all of people surrounding him was surprising. Why? Why you throw away all of the dawat? <laughs> And then the seller replied, "You said that the dawat is amis." So all people surprised too. Yeah, that's true, Amis. What's the problem? The seller still confused. Then all people say to the seller, "The word Amis here means sweet, manis." The seller then very sorry for that because. He didn't know the meaning of Amis in Kuningan. In Central Java, the word Amis means smelt not good. Smelt looks like fish smell. Okay. Now we go on to the examples of spoof. Firstly, I want to say sorry because uh, for Indonesian teenagers these experiences do not need to be imitated yeah. this one only in the examples for some language features that sometime uh, needed 
to be explored yeah for example polite impolite yeah as lesson for us okay the first example yeah long time ago when we are teenagers there are four of my friends like to joke and like to prank one another and one day three of us agreed to prank a friend who's come from Japan yes 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 our friend who come from Japan wants to learn Japanese Japanese language and one of my friends is planning to take him to the store then at that time this friend from Japan was taught Japanese language by my friend but he confused many of his words my friend said to the Japanese when you arrive to a stall please tell to a seller mom I want to eat in Japanese language is to kulobate actually the word in here means defecate and then please say the side dish is sekawon so please say mom lauki pun sekawon and actually the word sekawon means duck the dog yeah. and dog here in that area is haram or uh, it is not allowed to be consumed then after that please say ngombe nipun kopokan the word kopokan here means water that is usually used to wash hand so after arriving at the stall these words were uttered by our friend from Japan and the lady the seller of that stall was very angry who was teaching him and then all of us ran away <laughs> and the customers look at my friend from Japanese very surprised okay second example of the spoof one day I was watching soccer where the kids played a game that was full of spectators well there was one striker who was very good at playing the ball he brought the ball from the middle of the field past several opponents and finally there was an opponent who dug at his shirt hey. and he was no less resourceful he took his shirt off then threw away to that opponent who pulled the shirt then he will pass his opponent again then this opposing player pulls his shorts <laughs> and this smart striker takes off his shorts while running yeah with the ball and throws uh, the shorts at the opposing player the other opposing player after the penalty area he was confronted by other opponents 
the back player. And after passing this opponent's back player, because the back player uh, tuck his underwear, then he throw away to his underwear and then throw to him. And finally, he face only one player. He is the goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper was laughing out loudly. And finally, he easy to put the ball into the opponents and goal finally goal it's very easy okay we go on to the last example okay on another occasions my friend who's come from japan turns to prank my friend who is in love with a girl let's just say my friend named Klompong. At that time, this Japanese friend tried to pretend to be a woman who is in love with Klompong. And he introduced herself as Eva. Then he texted Klompong. I have something to talk about. And so on and so on. And finally, they promised to meet in front of the post office. Sunday, the day they planned to meet in front of the post office Klompong was already dressed up very neatly with perfumes and hair oil too when he was in front of the post office he looked up then our Japanese who actually male yeah, sent SMS to him where are you can I find you easily what color your shirt wear and then Klompong said oh it's dark blue and then my friend my Japanese friend asked again I can't find you. Can you raise your hand, please? Then, Klompong raised his hand. Can you see me, Eva? And then, my Japanese friend sent SMS to him too. No, please. Can you jump, please, right now? And then, Klompong jump, jump several times. Then, Glompong sent SMS again to Eva. At that time, actually not Eva, yeah, Japanese friend. Can you find me, Eva? Our Japanese friend answered, not yet. Can you cry calling my name, please? Then, Glompong cries, Eva, Eva, I'm here. Several times. Our Japanese friend and us, all of us, burst out of laughing, burst out laughing and watching him from far side place. Okay, uh, the last example from me. Thank you.